Alright guys, I have um, absolutely no idea what Tommy is running, but um, so we see Eddie's team, we see a Metagross, a Thunderous, a um, Venusaur, Terrakion, Hydreigon, and Milotic. And I would also like to thank World's runner-up Jody Azzarelli for buying me a, um, a Dunkachino from Dunkin' Donuts so if, uh, during the break. Um, I, I was I was told by I was told by Gabby, aka JTK, that Dunkachinos are great, so I decided to try one. She's right. Go get a Dunkachino today. Yep, and it's also sponsored by um, Buffalo Wild Wings, because most of us will end up there after this tournament. <laughs> and anyway, the competitors shake hands, and we're, we're going to see um, the battle begin. I um, do not know what Tommy is playing, so it will be interesting to see what he leads. He, he leads Chrissy, aka uh, a Whimsicott, and a Terrakion. One could probably expect the beat up justified combo coming out here, as um, as Eddie leads his own Terrakion and a Venusaur. The Paul Aaron battle is still going on, so there's not a winner yet. All right, as it's going to be an interesting turn. Um, Eddie is going to have to find a way to stop or be able to handle the beat up justified combo. Terracott is actually pretty successful as, as, as it won the premier challenge yesterday in Cedar Grove, New Jersey. Um, I was almost able to defeat it, except um, I, I, I basically made um, a 50% chance choice wrong in the last turn in the game, and Matt Terraberry was able to advance, and where he destroyed Angel Miranda in the finals. Anyway, we're, we're, we're going to see the Venusaur Mega Evolve here. Um, we'll, we'll, Tommy's Terrakion is gonna per gonna protect. Maybe we'll see a Tailwind from the Whimsicott. Yes. So um, that went. So so the close combat's gonna go into the go gonna go into the protect, while the Sludge Bomb is gonna come out onto the um Whimsicott. It's gonna be four times super effective, but holds on with the Focus Sash. But but the poison will take out the Whimsicott. Me mean meaning that Team Man will not be able to get up the beat beat up beat up combo off. However, he still has a Tailwind, so he's guaranteed to be faster than Eddie's Terrakion at this point. So, although I would say Tommy got the better of that turn by a little bit, um, Ed Eddie was able. Eddie is in a good position. Anyway, we see what is almost certainly a um, Charizard Y come out. It's gonna be interesting to see how, how Tommy plays this because you you really don't know that I'm tracking as running like Life Orb, Focus Sash, maybe Lum, and and the Venusaur is also obviously a threat. It can it can hit them to track out for super effective damage and possibly status a uh, uh, Pokemon. So um, we're gonna see the Charizard Mega evolve here. The drought comes out and it looks like that Terrakion is gonna protect on Eddie's side. And Tommy's own Terrakion is going to use Earthquake, which will do some some damage to the Venusaur. Now, it'll be interesting to see if he went for Fire Move or Solar Beam here. It looks like Tommy's Terrakion is Life Orbed. He goes for the Heat Wave, which will um, not do anything to the Terrakion. Venusaur is going to take some damage to this, but uh, but he's but thanks to Thick Fat, it's not going to knock him out. And the Sleep Powder is going to come off, putting the Charwai to sleep. Which, which, which also will help um, Eddie stall out the tailwind. Oh, only, only Cybertron is here. I mean, Wolf, Wolf plays in, um, in the Virginia area, and no one has seen Ray Rizzo since Worlds.
I'm I'm gonna agree with um Daniel here. You, t Tommy's best play, I I would think would be to rock slide, m m maybe knock out the Venusaur and break a potential sash on the track young and pick up a flinch. Um, there there are other plays that Tommy can can do, but that Venusaur is threatening. As, as, as he goes for the close combat onto the other track young, it is not focus sash, so that's gonna be a big turn for Tommy. Even. Even if um, even if Venusaur knocks it out or gets a sleep powder off, but um, let's see what happens. So I think with the special defense drop, Giga Drain might knock out this Trachyon. We'll see. All right, the, so the Trachyon goes down. Could probably didn't matter there, but it's possible. And Venusaur is going to restore most a lot of its HP. Despite the fact that Tailwind is up, Tommy has a sleeping Pokemon, and. And is down four to two. Eddie is in a commanding position right now. Tommy's last Pokemon is is Landorus. Oh, I'm sorry. He's up three to two. My bad. And um, and Ed Eddie's Eddie brings in the Thunderous, which, which means um, basically, Tommy is probably gonna have to wake up this turn and find a way to, at the very least, knock out the Venusaur or or flinch the Thunderous or. Things are gonna get ugly for him in a hurry. All right, Tommy's not gonna be able to wake up this turn. Looks like he was going for a protect. Rock Slide's gonna come out. Realistically, he's probably gonna need a double flinch here. As, as, the, um, as the Thunderous' is, um, Citrus Berry activates, storing some of its health, he gets one flinch, but he does not get the second flinch. Let's see how much this will do to the Landorus. Eh, take, takes it pretty well. Maybe this game isn't totally over yet. But the, but the Tailwind does peter out, which means that Thunderous is almost certainly going to be faster than the Charizard. And and, the, and if the Landorus is, is Assault Vested, Thunderous will be outrunning the Landorus as well. Tommy should probably be hoping that Landorus carries Taunt and Thunder Wave instead of Hidden Power Ice, because if it's carrying Hidden Power Ice, I don't think that Landorus is going to take it. Regiseal, right, I'm not dropping any frames here, so it might be on your end. Alright, the Venusaur is going to go for the Protect. The Charizard does wake up and is able to, um, to Heat Wave, but it avoids the attack. And looks like the hidden power ice is gonna come out onto the Landorus. That's gonna it's actually gonna hold on. Assault vest putting in work, but oh my god, T Tommy gets a double double miss and he puts his head down in shame. This game actually isn't over yet, but Tommy is now probably gonna have to rely on crit and flinch hacks because um those misses really put him in a bad position. And we still don't even know um, what Eddie's last Pokemon is. The overheat comes out onto the, um, the, the Thunderous, which will knock it out. No matter how bulky that thing is, it's not taking a sun boosted overheat. Probably gonna see the rock slide. And it avoids the attack. RNG, RNG hates Tommy Cooleen. <clears throat> oh, and 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 Tommy has the sunlight fade too. That's good. That's a shame. It, as um Eddie's last Pokemon is Hydreigon. Tommy's win condition really, to be honest, doesn't exist. That dark, that dark pulse is gonna come out. Um, hit the Charizard, do more than half. The overheat is gonna come out, even if it crits, which it doesn't. We're gonna see a sludge bomb coming out here. Yeah, the sludge bomb comes out. It's gonna knock him out this turn. Tommy holds on with six HP, but but as we saw, a hundred percent accurate attack from the Hydreigon, and it's faster. Tommy's gonna be able to do nothing. The dark pulse comes out onto the Charizard. Tommy's last Pokemon faints, and Eddie Fernandez takes the game 2-0.
is 5-0 and has guaranteed himself a spot in top cut.